How's it going, people? Let's read some DNC. And by the way, I'm feeling much better already. I don't know, something about this gold book just cheers me up. <laughs> All right. This is a lot shorter than the last section. Hopefully, it'll be interesting at least. Damn, talk about mastheads. Look at the masthead of this one. This is all masthead. And uh, this section isn't much longer. <coughs> okay, I'm all right. All right, section 21 of the DMC. Revelation given to Joseph Smith the prophet at Fayette, New York, April 6, 1830. So, same day as section 20. Remember the big production about April 6th? And you probably don't remember because it's not worth remembering. But anyway, yeah, Section 20 also was 1830. This revelation was given at the organization of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on the date, on the date named, being April 6th. <laughs> oh, spilled beer on that too. Uh, yeah, same date. They want you to know in case we didn't get that. All right, we're good. Thanks. <laughs> in the home of Peter Whitmere Sr., six men who had previously been baptized, participated, we're still on the masthead, by the way, uh, by unanimous vote, these expressed their desire and determination to organize according to the commandment of God. So they had to. They better. Or it's their ass after they're dead. You'll be fucked with forever. Boiled in oil and shit. All right, C-section twenty, which happened on the same day, same different revelation, same day, I guess. Or this is a spillover revelation, maybe. I mean, this was a long last one was this, went on forever. Uh, all right. Well, uh, damn hay fever. They also voted to accept and sustain Joseph Smith Jr. and Oliver Cowdery as the presiding officers of the church. Talk about nepotism, they're cousins. <laughs> oh boy. They got all these testimonies, I love it. <laughs> Neighbors and relatives, often the same thing. Uh, <laughs> With the laying on of hands, Joseph then ordained Oliver, and similarly ordained, wait, and similarly ordained Joseph, oh, and Oliver, yeah, okay, god damn, I'm seeing cross-eyed or something. This isn't exactly large print, I couldn't find large print, just... Fair to Midland. Uh, and it's in italics, that's fucking weird. All right. And Oliver similarly ordained Joseph. So they, they did each other. It was a reciprocal. They took turns, I guess. Or they did it in the same, at the same time in some creative fashion. Inquiring minds would like to know, but never will find out, I guess. Unless you've got faith. And I don't. And I have any in anything or anybody. Ain't that sad? <sighs> After administration of the sacrament, Joseph and Oliver laid hands upon the participants individually for the bestowal of the Holy Ghost and for the confirmation of each as a member of the church. 
See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 75. You guys are welcome to. Let me know what you find out. I'm just reading one page after another. Not going to jump around. Church records. After a long dash there. Uh, church records. The Lord manifests acceptance of the church. Well, good. It's official. Your imaginary friends thinks it's it's just fine. <laughs> and recognition of the presiding officers. We're all playing make believe, aren't we? <laughs> and it became a religion. It's worth billions. It's fucking awesome. I love it. It's hilarious. And I like these guys. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to fuck with them still. I'm sorry. I like them. I love some of them. I am not a hater of Mormons, honestly. I like them so much, I want to fuck with them. That's all. I like Muslims, too. I like everybody. I probably would like Scientologists, maybe. I don't know. I like the ones I met, but then again, they were in a salesman mode. So, of course you like them. All right, let's do this. One, behold, there shall be a record kept among you, and in it thou shalt be called a seer, a translator, a prophet, an apostle of Jesus Christ, an elder of the church, through the will of God the Father, and the grace of your Lord Jesus Christ. Two, being inspired of the Holy Ghost, to lay the foundation thereof, and to build it up unto the most holy faith. <coughs> Three, the first. Which church was organized and established in the year of your Lord, 1830, in the fourth month on the same day of the month which is called April, being the fourth month, as you said before. That's still funny. Okay. <laughs> Four. We're going to do this. Those are the grindstone, Rich. All right. Wherefore, meaning the church, thou shalt give heed unto all his words. That'd be Joey Jr., Joseph Jr., the prophet. unto all his words and commandments which he shall give unto you as he receiveth them. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it all holiness before me. Okay. Scapegoat friends. Uh, <laughs> okay. Five. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he's just receiving this shit because he's got a special antenna hookup. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's able to afford that special broadband, you know, where you get all, all the Wi-Fi you want. Yeah. All right. 
Damn. Everything's crystallizing here. All right, there we go. Five. <laughs> For his word ye shall receive, as if from mine own mouth, in all patience and faith. Boy, that should be a bumper sticker. A t-shirt, you know, going, somebody has that shirt, and then the guy walking next to him has, I'm with stupid. And some of these people are smart, that's what's tragic. You can be smart and a dumbass at the same time. Dumbass religitard. What the fuck? Hang on. Ah, that's better. All right. Six. For by doing these things, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Yea, and the Lord God will disperse the power of darkness from before you. And cause the heavens to shake for your good. What good would that do me? To shake the fucking heavens. Do something better than that. Like, fix some shit. If you're God, fix some shit. What the fuck? You're a fucking sadist if you don't fix some this shit. The guy's napping. He's like, uh-uh. I said three days. That, that means it's only been... Like, it's not even completely two days yet. Whining bitches? He's gonna hit the snooze button. <sighs> Shake the heavens, thank you. I'll pass. Do something better than that. For your good in his name. Name's glory. He's got a glorious name. Seven. For Thus saith the Lord God, Him have I inspired to move the cause of Zion in mighty power for good. <clears throat> and His diligence I know, and His prayers I have heard. Eight. Yea, His weeping for Zion I have seen, and I will cause that he shall mourn for her no more. That being Zion, Israel, which they often name as a virgin maiden who will give birth to a new king. And, oh wait, but they got that all confused with Mary and all that shit. See? I mean, those prophecies actually weren't... You know, it's like the fatherland or the motherland. You know. Jesus. You shall mourn for her no longer. There we go. Let's turn that page. For his days of rejoicing are come unto the remission of his sins. And the manifestations of my blessing upon his works. Nine. For behold... I will bless all those who labor in my vineyard. Oh yeah, that's right. He was talking about a vineyard earlier on in the BOM. It's a vineyard where they're talking about grafting trees. It's like, wait a minute. Vineyards are like grapevines and shit. I've seen vineyards and uh, grafting trees and shit. Yeah, it was very boring, but at least I got to drink beer in the snow. <laughs> like, there's videos of that I just don't remember which one it was it's on the other channel alright uh, manifestations of my blessings upon his works that's God or Jesus one or the other or both talking about Joseph Smith and how they think he's just all right with them. Nine. For behold, I will bless all those who labor in my vineyard. I just read that. God damn it. 
with a mighty blessing, and they shall believe on his words, which are given him through me by the Comforter. And it's not talking about a blankie. <laughs> It's not Linus's security blanket. No, 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 no. The Comforter, capitalized, by the way, which manifesteth that Jesus was crucified by sinful men for the sins of the world. Yay. You said that, like in the last section, I believe. <sighs> for the remission of the sins unto the contrite heart. 10. Wherefore, it behooveth me that he should be ordained by you, Oliver Cowdery, mine apostle and his cousin. First cousin. 11. Kissing cousins for all I know. Uh, this being an ordinance unto you, that you are an elder under his hand. He being the first unto you, that you might be an elder unto the church of Christ, bearing my name. So that was Jesus talking. That cleared it all up. Yeah, so Jesus wants all this. It's his idea. Twelve. And the first preacher of this church unto the church. And before the world, yea. Before the Gentiles, yea. And thus saith the Lord God, Lo, lo, to the Jews also. Amen. I don't know what that means. And it sounds kind of creepy. Anyway. That was fucking fascinating. I I should read another because it's a snippet, but let's make a shorter video if I can. So, we'll do this later. We'll continue on. It's getting better, don't you think? Eh. Stay tuned. You'll learn something. And then I hope you'll tell me what it was. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful Whatever the fuck it is you're having, because... If you don't, someone else is going to, and that just ain't right. It ought to be you. I mean that. That's how I feel. Really. It's not creepy at all. Bye.